Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, as you can see, I'm starting poking holes in these potatoes so I can put them in the microwave uh, for my mashed potatoes. Um, I'm poking holes in them because they cook a lot faster with holes poked in them. Uh, and I don't have any time to be waiting around because I'm already hungry. Uh, there is some thinly sliced roast beef there and I'm also cooking green beans as you can see from the can but I'm going to add a little extra something to them because they're not quite edible for me straight out the can. Okay so now I am cooking bacon. Again this is not necessarily a tutorial. I'm just going to share with some things that I'm doing along the way. Uh, this is kind of how I cook when nobody's watching. Um, so I'm not actually teaching someone how to cook or showing somebody how to cook. I'm just showing you how I do it and just come along for me on the journey if you will. I'm using bacon in both pans because the skillet over there on the far top I'm going to be using my uh, cooking my green beans and in the pan closest to you I'm going to be cooking and smothering my roast beef and I'm adding bacon to add some fat because that deadly sliced roast beef has almost no fat at all and I need some fat in order to smother the meat and I'll show you that later so I'm adding some onions over to the skillet for my green beans and I'm just making sure my bacon is uh, almost done before I add my meat There is the see the sliced roast. Almost no fat at all, so we need a little fat there, and that's why it goes in the bacon skillet. very much grease at all or any grease really in the green beans only the bacon so I'm draining all of the grease off of the uh, bacon for my green beans into the meat pan. so to give it some more flavor and also to add a little bit more liquid so I can have a lot more gravy for my potatoes adding some um, sodium, uh, low sodium beef broth. And there is garlic powder and onion powder. It's pepper. Worcestershire oh, Worcestershire sauce. You know what I'm trying to say, Worcestershire sauce. If I had been trying to say it, I could think about it and then pronounce it correctly. Worcestershire. 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 I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. And there's some sugar for my green beans. So this is how I would make, those are, that's how I would make my green beans if it wasn't coming out of the can. Uh, all of those seasonings. Wakes it up. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. So no matter one little vegetable straight out the can, at least I don't. So as uh, as you can see, I added a little butter as well, give it some flavor and even more fat. In order to make gravy, you need fat. You need grease, and you need what I have in that coffee mug, some flour paste. You start off with the flour, basically, you make a roux, as they call it, um, by slowly adding water and stirring until it's uh, all the lumps, all the lumps are out of it, and then it's ba that's basically flour water. So this is how gravy is made, if you did not know. This 
is a process that you cannot leave. You cannot leave and come back or you may have messed up your gravy. You have to continuously stir it vigorously. Um, as you can see, the longer it cooks, the thicker it gets because the flour is like it's starch. So it's going to swell and you gradually add. And this is how I make my gravy. That could be, I'm sure there's multiple other ways that you can do it. There's more than one, two, or three ways to everything, especially cooking. Um, so many different techniques and this is just how I do it today <laughs> um, so you gradually add liquid some you can add water but I'm using the beef broth just to make it more flavorful and I also use low sodium beef broth because I've already seasoned my meat very thoroughly and the meat from the deli has already has sodium in it as well so I didn't want to add more sodium than I needed to It'll just be way too salty. More onion powder. And garlic powder. Best ingredient of all, onion, to my green beans and to um, this meat. Now, when it comes to technique, let me just say, I already know you're not supposed to use metal on metal, or metal fork with a metal pan. I know that, that you can see all the scratches at the bottom. But, uh, again, this is me in the kitchen grabbing the first thing I can see. It is what it is. When I get a new pan, I'll, I'll promise I won't use metal on it. I'll use plastic or uh, wood. But for today, what you see is what you get. So here's my, here are my mashed potatoes that I've gotten out of the microwave. Adding butter. So I just decided to go ahead and use it all and I added some Parmesan cheese as well. These potatoes, you've got to try these ingredients. If you make mashed potatoes, please try this. If you don't do feta and Parmesan, do one or the other, but I promise you, Parmesan cheese and or feta in your mashed potatoes with some butter and a little basil. Oh my gosh, salt and pepper of course. I don't even remember if I put salt and pepper in these potatoes. They were good, but I don't remember using salt and pepper. There's a basil. Not the best quality, but I used what I had. Oh, yeah, I did. But there's the salt. Oh, yeah, and milk. Milk will make them 
down to the consistency that you prefer. If you want them more mashed and not as solid, then use more milk. I like my potatoes kind of stiff. Um, not runny. I don't like runny mashed potatoes. I like mine stiff. And so um, I don't use so much milk. That's about the consistency. I'm gonna mash these a little bit more, but that's basically what I like there. You do it to your own preference. And that's it. I'm ready to eat, y'all. Let's do it. Welcome back to another Freddy Cooks International video. And I finally got a chance to prepare a meal for you. Today I'm having, what is this? Roast, it's like a Cajun roast beef and some mashed potatoes and some green beans. Of course, it was a very, I would say a very swift meal because the roast beef was a deli slice cut. I didn't have a whole roast beef and I just used a deli sliced meat and made some gravy, some onions, some mashed potatoes. So mashed potatoes turned out very well, as they would, of course. Mashed potatoes and gravy there. Um, if you're interested in how I prepared this, then you should have watched the first part of the video. I don't think I'm gonna make two separate videos. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know, we'll see. But it's time to eat. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, please subscribe, please share some love. If you don't subscribe, that's okay. You should probably subscribe, but at least you're here for now, okay? Consider that. If you've been here before, if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. I love you for watching. Lord, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. Let it nourish and strengthen my body for Christ's sakes. Amen, thank you for provision. Um, yes, yeah, so these potatoes, I'm already so excited to taste them. Mmm, 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 the garlic parmesan, mmm, garlic parmesan mashed potatoes. Mm. And that gravy is so good. I said this is a quick meal because, of course, I use canned baked beans, but then again, I don't know if I normally cook baked beans any other way from the can because I don't got time. But I still don't just pour them out of the can and put them in the and just warm them up. Still do a little doctoring up on them to make them taste like somebody. Not somebody. You know what I'm saying. Mm. This is not the meal that I planned. Well, actually, I thought it in my head. Earlier today, it just came to me. This is, I think, this is what my body wanted. My mind wanted salmon because I've been thinking about salmon for a few days now, and eventually, I know it has to happen because I've been thinking about salmon. But today, this is what my mind, this is what my body wanted. I didn't feel like putting no roast in a crock pot for hours because if I cook a roast in a crock pot, normally I let it roast for like. At least nine hours, eight or nine hours. So, mm. 
when doing that, mm. I don't know if there's anybody out there. I'm sure there's somebody out there. But if you're watching my channel, anybody out there who cooks, who's ever used like a deli sliced ham in this way. Ham? What is you talking about? That is not no ham, boy. Save you so much time. This was occasion. Oh, it's so good. This was occasion roast beef. It had quite a bit of sodium in it already. So I probably didn't need to use as much salt as I, as I did. Because it's it's flavored really, really good. It's not too salty, but if you don't like a lot of salt, you probably would want to just use the salt content that's already in the meat. And go light on your salt. Mm. This is slamming. From the Urban Dictionary, slamming is whenever your food is just great or tastes incredibly delicious. For an example, if you take a bite of a donut, it's slamming. Taken from the Oxford Dictionary, slamming is an adjective meaning extremely good, excellent. For an example, he gave me a slamming deal. You're welcome. Hmm. So good. So good, I didn't even give you any. This was the perfect meal for me today. Speaking of today, oh my gosh. Such a long day. First of all, I had to work 10 hours from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. I think that's 10 hours. Well, I had a one hour lunch. First of all, That's a long time to work anyways. I'm sorry. That is way too long to be working. And it took forever to go by. Oh my gosh. When you're not doing much, when you're enjoying the time, time goes by so fast. I'm sitting there just like, come on. Really? It's just two o'clock. I swear it's at least five right now. Mm. Such a good meal. Today, I hadn't even had time to pour my drink. Drinking Simply Lime Aid. Give it a little shake. And my favorite, still going to use that blackberry lemonade. I guess you can say I got a blackberry lime.
delish back to this I don't even know why that song came to my head. Mm. That was perfect. I could make a whole nother plate and eat this all over again. But I know that's not right. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, bye.